So welcome back. We are, we've just finished with the benefits of Green Revolution and we're going to do weaknesses. Yes, in the benefits we did talk about how it did make an impact, increased production, marketed surplus, and how the Food Corporation of India also procured these grains and um, say and put them as a buffer stock and released them at the time of shortage. Especially, it gave the farmers a support price, which was much needed during that time. And now we're going to do some weaknesses. Well, you, you could tell me. I mean, I, a very uh, the. The main weakness would be that it was the rich farmers who could, because it was a package program, only they could adopt it. So the poor farmers could not, unless there was a major support by the government. And of course, uh, it was confined to a few crops, and then there was a limited coverage. And also, uh, uh, most mostly, you know, there was the soil fertility came down then erosion of soils, soil toxicity, diminishing water resources, then salinity of underground water, that also was noticed. And another thing which was noticed was increased incidence of human and livestock diseases. And of course, global warming and uh, this, these engineering seeds in its way it brought about your tampering with nature sort of and if you really want to know more about it you must read this book by uh, by dr shiva vandana violence of the green revolution very interesting see any revolution brings about violence and she has named her the book as violence of the green revolution so just go through this well i'm just going to talk about these uh, points as we see so as you see that we are going to talk about uh, the weaknesses of the new agricultural strategy. So what was the weakness? First of all, we can say it was confined to food crops. It remained confined to wheat and rice crops. It did not cover pulses. And um, she also t uh, it's also said that other millets were not covered, which is not a good thing. So millets are here to stay. And... Uh, uh, and the progress in major commercial crops like cotton, jute, oil seeds, etc. has been very slow. And then we find that there was a limited coverage. The coverage was limited. So, uh, why? Because you needed irrig irrigation facilities and uh, also financial resources to purchase fertilizers and pesticides. So it could not be expanded everywhere in the country. And uh, so only increase in food production has taken place only in Punjab, Haryana, Maharashtra, Tamil Nadu, Western UP, and in some selected districts of Andhra Pradesh. So it has really widened uh, regional disparities. And not only that, it has brought about inequality among farmers. Only big farmers benefited because again, let me just say it was a package program. So how do you, and uh, how, how would they afford uh, the irrigation facilities? Where would they, how much would they spend on it? How could they spend the poor farmers? Um, and we also did in a few videos from here before that we talked about Indian agriculture's a gamble to the monsoons. Then another thing which was noticed was there was undesirable social effects. For example, increasing use of farm machinery has created the problem of surplus labor in agricultural sector. So once where we say employment has been generated, but others you see that the surplus labor has been there in uh, agricultural sector. And what was really, what was found was that the big farmers and landlords now found it more profitable to cultivate land themselves. So this led to a lot of eviction. That means tenant tendency on their part was to tell the, the tenants who were there, who were, who were cultivating their lands to leave their lands. So this led to a lot of landlessness among the poor farmers. So that was another weakness or another flip side to this. 
and then uh, talking about the ecological impact Ecolo excessive use of chemical fertilizers and pesticides led to degradation in the environment it led to pollution levels in land water and air and then harmful effects also were noticed increased uh, farm accidents took place farmers and workers suffered health problems due to increased use of poisonous insecticides pesticides and fertilizers so these are these are the problems that really were faced and and uh, we should we should address them in whatever however way we can and with that we are going to do the what were the problems in, in the next time we just got going to talk about the problems of indian agriculture